Hi everyone, it's Robin again, and today I'll be reviewing a PC made by MSI, and it's called the Aegis R2. Now, to get into this, let's take a quick look at the specs. So we have a 14th gen Intel Core i7 14700F CPU, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super with 16GB of GDDR6 uh, at 32GB of DDR5 memory, and its speed is 5600MHz. It's a 750 watt power supply with 80 plus gold certification. Uh, the motherboard is a Pro 760 VC Wi-Fi motherboard, and the storage is a 2 terabyte M.2 NVMe, and it's yeah, it's a Gen 4 SSD. Now I'll be testing this computer with three popular games, and we'll be going with Overwatch, Fortnite, and the finals. I think that'll be. A nice thing to test. To give you a complete picture, I'm also going to run some benchmarks now, including Time Spy and Fire Strike and maybe Heaven. Okay, I'll be starting off by testing out Overwatch, and I wanted to show you my settings quickly, so go to that. I just left most of the stuff on the default for, let's see, video settings. Um, I changed the borderless window, which I think actually runs a bit like worse than full screen. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do that anyway. Uh, V-Sync off, um, you can see all the other stuff. Uh, graphics quality is, it defaulted to Ultra, the only thing I changed was, I don't even know where it is now, I changed the, oh, frame rate custom. Um, I changed this to custom and changed it to max. I don't think you can do unlimited frame rate. So we're just gonna try maximum frame rate. And yeah, I'm gonna cut until I'm in a game. Alright, we're way. in a game now. Um, I originally was trying to do deathmatch, but uh, I joined a game and it immediately ended because there weren't enough players, so. Uh, I'm doing a defend. I just did quick play, uh, and I went in on a sit tank. I'm gonna play as Diva because, like I said, I haven't played in this game in a while. I'm probably just gonna try to edit this down to where I get kills, um, just to make it somewhat interesting. But as you can see, we're getting dang, already around 500 FPS. Uh, I am in 1080p by the way because my monitors are 1080p. Okay, I just got a got a kill. Alright, we got it. Nice. Endorsement received, endorse players. Oh, I didn't get the I didn't get play of the game. We'll watch it anyway though, and then we'll move on to another game. I think next we'll do Fortnite. Yeah, I think yeah, next we'll do fi the finals, actually. Okay, here I am in the finals. I'm going to look at the settings really quickly. Um, I actually, I didn't actually change them yet at all, um, because I actually play this game a lot, so I already have them on the settings that I would probably want. So, yeah, we'll do Epic. Um, my field of view, uh, I'm going to actually turn this up a bit to, like, 88. <laughs> um, you can see the rest of my settings there. I don't know how to... I don't know if there's like a frame cap in this game, but if there, I'm hoping it's off if there is one. I'm now in a game, um, by the way, I always choose heavy. I basically always just play flamethrower, <laughs> it's pretty fun. Um, another thing is, we're on Kyoto, I think? Yeah, we're on Kyoto, which this map, uh, I don't know very well. Um, it's not, I don't think it's, it's not a bad map, it's kind of hard to defend the platform on this map though with how like easy it is for people to access it, or at least. It oh, okay. We just team wiped them. All 
Alright, yeah, I probably sped up this footage because nothing really too exciting happened. Um, we won, but uh, basically, you can see that the game runs pretty well. It's 200 FPS, but this game has like a lot of like a lot of stuff going on. Like it's you know a lot of destruction stuff like that. Anyway, yeah, this game is probably like a good one to test. Like if you want to like stress your PC to its limits. But yeah, next is Fortnite. So see, you there. Yeah, I'm now in Fortnite. So we're gonna go to settings and. Uh, let's just do unlimited. Wait, oh, you have to actually click that. Okay, unlimited, and then graphics quality is auto set to epic. So resolution scale seventy percent, two percent. I don't know, like. Oh, it's all okay. I'm just gonna leave it as is because I don't know what that does. All right, I'm now in a game of uh, I'm now in a game of zero build battle royale. Um, I was actually just in one, but uh, I died right away. Well, I was like I was changing settings and yeah, but yeah, I'm good now. Um, something I was mentioning though that I yeah, it, epic settings may not be the best for this. Um, but yeah, Fortnite can be pretty weird. Still though, uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Like. We're still getting like a good 80, 90. Um, I may do another game after this with like l lowering my settings to high, like the high preset and seeing how that goes. My truth flash. No, it's Deku. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um, I think that's going to be it for this test, but that was fun. I got plus the ultra, so... But yeah, I, I think this is very, very good. Um, like, you get around 90 on epic settings. Uh, I mean, you saw all my other settings. Like, by the, I don't know, like, very much about benchmarking. Stuff like this, but... Yeah, I got I got Afterburner installed, so I could show you like GPU um, temp, CPU temp, and then like their percentage usage. And I, this is also my memory usage. And my me something I don't know. But yeah, uh, we're gonna move on to the benchmarks, and I think actually I'm going to just show you the benchmarks while I do an outro. So. Okay, I've now ran a couple of the benchmarks, including Time Spy, Fire Strike, and Heaven. And you'll probably notice in Time Spy and Fire Strike that my score is actually below the average of systems with similar specs. And that's for a few reasons. Uh, one of the things is I didn't actually configure any, like, I didn't change any of the configurations or anything um, when I got this. I, I didn't, the only thing I changed when I got this system is I changed the uh, BIOS to the XMP profile, which just um, makes my memory as fast as it's supposed to be. Um, but there, I also have some stuff running in the background that I kind of just forgot to turn off for the benchmarks. And uh, yeah, I don't want to redo them because they take a while and I don't really have much time left to make this video. Uh, anyway, yeah, you should be seeing the benchmarks now in the background. And yeah, I'm going to move on to the outro. I decided to make this video to help anyone considering the Aegis R2 as their future gaming PC. It's going to be my main gaming PC for a while. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions about it that I could potentially answer, then yeah, leave them below. But if you liked it, leave a like. If, if not, then hope to see you again in the future. So that's it for this video. See you all in the next one. Just
Cause you'd rather feel the pain than say goodbye I know I have drowned in holy water Had my spirit shaken If you've ever felt like this Can I get a hug? 